Okay, I got a couple things on the agenda today. I am going to, I'm just gonna make my goals smaller and smaller until I don't feel like I'm failing every time I go out to do something and end up not being able to do all that I wanted to do. So today, my goal is getting one pole sunk that the hole dug, cemented, the brace bolted to it, and uh, that's not unreasonable for somebody that's having the issues that I'm having. And the other goal, well, I have two more goals. That today will be seven days as it has been sitting in Neat's Foot Oil. That is the hatchet whose leather handle had gaps in it because it had shrunken over time. And uh, today I will take it out. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to drink my coffee and then that's the very next thing I'm going to do. Let's take that out and wipe it off and give a good look. See, I hope it has replenished, nourished the leather and it's uh, swelled back up to its old size. And the other goal is I got to go by the post office. I shipped a package to Europe and the tracking number is not showing anything but where the uh, post office here took it in. It's not showing any travel information or destination or arrival info. And the person that's uh, supposed to get it on the other end, uh, he hasn't gotten it yet. <laughs> so I'll have to go to the post office sometime today and have them check it out on this end. So I'm going to drink my coffee and then the next thing will be me pulling that uh, hatchet out of the meat's foot oil been sitting there in the heat for seven days well it did not so I kind of have no choice I'm gonna have to replace the leather and these are a booger to get off but I do like a challenge and this will be the the very first one where I have removed the pins on these two. Here's, here's what this is. This is two pieces of metal with a gap, and this is not a full tang. Even though you can see the tang on either side, there's a gap down the middle. And these leather pieces are like this with a gap to slide down and accommodate these two pieces. And, that's what I would have to do is, uh, is uh, cut the slots. So, it's hard to explain without showing you. And these, these do not hammer out. I've watched a million videos, well, dozens, and nobody's been able to knock these pins out, so they all end up drilling the pins out and then going back with oversized pins, which is fine, I can do that. Oh, okay. So down to the shop, put everything away, get my gator out, and then see if I can dig a hole. I'm not sure if I can. I took a pill and I could still barely walk. I, I, uh, I'm having a very difficult time coming to terms with uh, the fact that I'm just not the guy that I used to be, man. I feel weak. I feel, I really, I feel old because I'm not as strong as I used to be. And uh, just standing up straight is hard. <laughs> you know, I'm a tall guy, but most of the time when people see me, I'm bent over. So, you know, anyway, I'm just talking. Let me go put these in my leather shop and then feed the cat and get the day started. I, there is this little, little, I say little boy. He's 17 years old and he's a worker. And I may have to hire him to dig my holes. It's just a, I gotta get this fence up. Let me sit a minute and I'll tell you the, I have a friend oh, who's sort of like us. Um, and, you know, and by us, I mean, nobody that you can depend on to take your dogs if you die. And that has been a fear of mine that I really wanna outlive Breezy, Breezy's 15. And you know, when I was in and out of the hospital, I just, God, I was praying that I could just live long enough to get him through his life, you know what I mean? 
because he's been nothing but my baby since he was six months old and he would just fall apart if he wasn't treated like that so the thought of me dying and him not being the center of someone's world concerned me and I have a friend who is probably feeling the same way and uh, my promise to him was that if he should pass that I would come get his dog and his dog would be just as loved and taken care of and pampered and babied as uh, our two dogs and now that we've had one pass we certainly have a room for a third dog to you know be in our lives so that's another reason I want to be prepared if that should happen I want to ha absolutely have my my yard dog tight not so much so our dogs don't get out but so other animals can't get in that would hurt our dogs and you know we do have uh, raccoons I mean they can get over the fence but you know having a perimeter where your dogs can't get out into the wild just gives you a little peace of mind and anyway I'm talking too much I'm doing it again so you know that's one of the many reasons I want to get my yard dog tight just in case that should happen and I'm sure he's hoping the same thing that I'm hoping and that I outlive my dogs but I assured him if that should not happen that I would gladly come get his dog and make him make her one of ours and uh, let her live out her life and uh, mobile home luxury <laughs> I just wanted to show you the the matched pair and uh, the handles are identical and these are Western by the way and uh, this knife is in excellent shape the leather is in excellent shape and like I said this uh -oh. okay there you go This is uh, just not gonna cut it. Maybe, I just don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I really want the leather to be the, you know, the same age, roughly. I mean, this is dark because it's been sitting in neat's foot oil and I would do the same to this, darken it up a little bit, but we'll see. Anyway, it's uh, gonna be a big project. I got a lot of work to do to make this, uh, you know, a good presentable knife. Okay, I'm going to the, uh, Go in the garage, get my gator, get the day started. Good morning. Good morning. You're such a pretty cat. Did you know you're a pretty cat? You are. You're deceptively cute. Because if I put my hand near you, you'll shred it. You are a pretty cat. And uh, speaking of cats, my friend Ann is still in well I don't know how much I should share I'll tell you this she has made funeral arrangements so if you have prayers in you please keep Ann in your prayers that she has a comfortable passing and I just don't want to say a whole lot because I haven't asked her permission to share anything but I worry about her. Again, she's another one that's sort of like us, uh, you know, alone. And I won't go into de detail, but I have three kids that are not in my life. Let me just leave it at that. And my wife has a son that's not in her life. And so for all intents and purposes, we're alone. It's just her and I. And Bev, you know, who's our friend, but she's our age and she's got her own medical problems. So, you know, it's just like a coin toss. She was going to die first here. <laughs> anyway, Anne is uh, uh, another person that's just like us. Life has worked out where, uh, you know, she's the last living person of her lineage. And, and uh, anyway dying alone has just got to be the worst so if you would please keep Anne in your prayers okay cat I'm gonna leave you alone sorry I'm sorry I delayed your your breakfast well maybe I didn't okay oh, that's good
it's not like she really trusts me or anything because the second I open this door behind me, she's gone. Okay, let's get to work. All right, this is where I pulled the old post out. So I got a hole, pretty good, pretty good start on a hole here. Let me close this gate and have a good look, see where I need to put it. So uh, I won't be able to use this because I'm gonna have a four by four down here. So I really want to come as close as possible to it. And then I'll probably just have something slide through the four by four into the pole. So, okay, I think I know what I gotta do. Or I can move it out a little bit. No, this is, that's, that there is a good six inches of gap that Breezy can get through. So I'm gonna eliminate this and put the pole right up close to that and I'll figure out a way of keeping the gate shut. Okay, let me get to digging. <sighs> okay, I'm up against a big root. So uh, it goes from here to here, it's a big root. So let me go get my big root remover. Okay, I am working on it. Believe it or not, I am gonna have a pole done here in about maybe an hour. I got a, I'm digging for my uh, cross brace here. I gotta go down a good bit more. Then I gotta drill some holes in my 45 up there so I can lag bolt it to the four by four. And then I gotta get concrete and some water. And I'll have one pole done here in, let's say an hour, hour and a half is reasonable. And then I'm gonna move down to the far end where my gate is going, my other gate, my big gate. And then I'm gonna start on that. And boy, if I could get that done today, that is a huge chunk of the hardest part done. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little more. Okay. One down. Now I'm going to the end. Hopefully by the day's end, I can have that in. And that is the hardest one of all. And then two more, which are, should be pretty easy. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm going to go sit in front of the fan on the front porch here. We'll be back. Okay. About uh, six more inches. I'm going to go two foot since this post is going to have that gate hanging off of it. But I kind of think that that's all I'm going to do today. What time is it, home? About 10, 1030? Yeah. So, starting to warm up. And uh, I have looked for the pull cord on this. I've not been able to start this post hole digger. So I'm having to use it the old fashioned way. All right, about six more inches and I'm setting this pole. Yeah. Don't be jealous of my long, glorious towel. Okay, now I gotta drag the gate down here put my pole in and just see where I got to set my pole in that hole. I think pretty much dead center, but I want to be sure. Okay. That is 180 pounds of cement in that hole. That's a big hole. And uh, I've got to make this, you know, heavy and stout because that's a very, very heavy gate. That's just going to be hanging on that pole. And uh, I got a lot more done than I thought. It's noon, and I'm going home. I'm going to take a shower and uh, chill out. Tomorrow, I will uh, put them braces on. And I just thought of something. I can have a brace coming up this way and a brace coming up this way at the same height. But I can't do three at the same height. So I'm going to, I've got a spare four by four right there. I'm going to cut it longer and attach it above and that's the one that will be holding a lot of the weight the ones going this way will just keep that pole from swaying left and right as you open the gate and the one going that way will keep this from sagging hopefully okay that's probably it gather my tools up park my park my little john deere jeep and go to the house have a good day. Have a good uh, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday.